Today was the third day of the impeachment trial of Donald Jemima Trump. <laughs> and Democrats continued to lay out a meticulous case that Trump abused his power and is now trying to cover it up. They've given floor speeches. They've shown video evidence. They even brought out the Constitution and had to tell everyone where Trump touched it. <laughs> but no matter how compelling the evidence might be, I have major doubts about whether it's gonna change anyone's mind. Because you see, a lot of these senators haven't exactly been glued to their seats. Many of the senators from both parties were MIA at different times, despite rules which require them to stay put. At one point during the evening session, 15 GOP senators' uh, seats were empty and 12 Democratic seats were empty. Cory Booker seen with his iPhone in the cloakroom. Senator Lindsey Graham was gone for, oh, at least an hour or so in the evening. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, uh, she left about an hour and a half early as well. Okay, this is not a good look, people. Senators are just leaving the room and then doing their own thing in the middle of an impeachment trial. You can't just walk away. This isn't a conversation with Ted Cruz. <laughs> Because you understand, these senators are jurors in a trial against the president. You can't just go home early because you're bored. That's your job. Imagine if normal people tried to pull that shit in the middle of jury duty, huh? If someone was just like, oh, now I gotta hear from the victim's wife? Oh. <laughs> I'm out of here. Text me if something cool happens. <laughs> like, you know what? If you didn't want to be bored at work, you shouldn't have become a senator, okay? Yeah, you should have stuck with race car driving. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't like what the wind did to your neck flaps. <laughs> and while American senators are looking for a way to get out of these proceedings, America's president is looking for a way to get in. The president seemed to relish the idea of crashing the impeachment trial and staring down Democrats himself. So what do you think? Will you show up at your trial any day in any way, go. shape, Wouldn't and form? Great, so why don't you go? Well, I don't know. I'd sort of love sit right in the front row <laughs> and stare at their corrupt faces. You know, Trump, Trump is like that guy who always tells you what he'd do in a fight. He's like, oh, man, if I saw that guy, I'd hit him with a left and duck and come in my wham, pow, boo. It's like, so you're gonna fight him then? Ooh, we'll see, but I'm busy, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm really busy. So yeah, Trump says he wishes he could be at that impeachment trial to look his accusers in the face. And I wish he would go to the impeachment trial too, because if he's locked up in a room for 12 hours at a time, he wouldn't have time to be doing things like this. A new rollback is expected to be announced today that could potentially put more pollution into our waters. The changes would scale back which waterways qualify for protection against pollution under the Clean Water Act. President Trump says this would benefit farmers who will no longer have to fear farming near federally protected creeks. However, government report shows real estate developers would see the most benefit. Oh, that's a weird coincidence. A new rollback on water protections will benefit real estate developers. And it was passed by a real estate developer who hasn't drank water since the 70s. What are the odds? <laughs> why do I feel like... Why do I feel like all of Trump's policies are just really him trying to help himself? Right? Like, I wouldn't be shocked if we find out the real reason Trump killed Soleimani was because he gave Trump's hotel one star on Yelp. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be shocked. Because this is... It's insane. It's an insane policy. The world is gonna be flooded, and Trump is like, wait, wait, poison the water first. <laughs> I wanna make this the best apocalypse of all time. <laughs>